Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to weekly Korean live class. My name is Kajun. 안녕하세요, Kajun입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chimchim입니다. Hello. So Chimchim is saying hi. <laughs> hi to everyone today. <laughs> Welcome back. And 안녕하세요, Jihoon and. Uh, Koati, Kishor, Chris, Sumi, Kodi, <laughs> and Jang, uh, Jang Ri Sap. 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. <laughs> how are you guys? How are you, Practitia? All good? Tina Harris, and are you ready to learn Korean today? Ah, uh, Jersey. 안녕하세요. Learn Korean. Oh, <laughs> learn Korean online. <laughs> <laughs> the name changed from Japanese, I guess. <laughs> Nikhil, 안녕하세요. 네, 수미 씨, 저는 엄청 잘 지내요. 그런데 추워요. <laughs> yes, I'm doing very well, but it's cold. Vehoni, 안녕하세요. Bonjour. Sunny, you're new. Welcome. As you can see here, Jajan, today we are going to learn Korean. Grammar. This is a grammar for beginners, so if you are learning Korean, please keep watching this video until the end. Hello, good morning, good morning, all good? And of course on Facebook too. 안녕하세요 여러분, 잘 지냈어요? <laughs> are you excited about the grammar topic? As I mentioned many times, 2023. My New Year's resolution is to more and more grammar lessons for you because that's what my lovely students requested many times. 안녕, 안녕, uh, Jack-Han. Okay, so before starting our lesson, I have an announcement. Cloudun, 안녕, and Kyushi. Kyushi, is it correct? God Emperor, there's a cat. <laughs> Ganesh, um... Jan, if you click the link in the description, I have something to show you. Where is it? <laughs> now I'm looking for it. And you know, it usually takes some time for more students to join the class. So I always have some announcement. Announcement. And today's announcement is this. Ta -da! If you click the link in the description, you will see this workbook page. Yes. What can you do here? If you are the member of Korean Class 101, then you can download whoo, this writing worksheet for free from Alphabet Worksheet, Talk About Family, 50 Most Common Adjectives, Nouns and Verbs, and uh, many ways to say goodbye, love phrases, or how to ask how are you. So there are many, many writing worksheets. So you can print out this PDF and practice writing Korean. These are all free, by the way, so please check it out. Please, please check it out. Uh, this is available for uh, Korean Class 101 members, and you don't have to take any paid membership. So as long as you are the member of Korean Class 101, you can download everything here. So please take advantage of it. Again, the link is in the description. So, okay. Okay, great! Oh, so many new students today, as Jihoon said. 감사합니다. Welcome, welcome! I hope you will enjoy today's lesson. Okay, so, 짜잔! Today's grammar is this. Trevon, 안녕하세요. Roger, Rita. <laughs> Lovely, uh, Macon, 안녕하세요. And Minerva, ooh, Valeria, and Vinita, Sandy, okay. Okay, so Jan, this is today's grammar. It's 는군요. 는군요. Have you ever heard of it? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> I think you sometimes hear it from Korean movies or dramas, and I personally use it very often when I talk with my friends online. Online. Yeah. I'll show you. The reason because because it has some nuance and that nuance is Jan Oops before that <laughs> Yes this is a workbook page that I just mentioned so check out the link in the description Okay 
Sultan, the nuance is like I see. So I see that indeed. Hmm. Right. Actually, this 능군요 itself doesn't have any meaning. So, for example, uh, when I say 바쁘군요, 바쁘군요. Let me write it down for you. 짜자잔. 바쁘군요. It means, oh, you are busy. You are busy. 바빠요. 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 Or 바쁩니다. 바쁩니다. This also means you are busy. You are busy. This is, by the way, it's a neutral sentence. This is a present tense. So you are busy. It's 바빠요. 바쁩니다. And 바쁘군요 also means you are busy. That's it. In English, the translation doesn't exist. Instead, it has kind of some nuance. Yes, it has some, some kind of nuance. The meaning again doesn't change, but it has nuance. What does the nuance like? I see. So, I see that indeed. So, let me give you the exact example. Exact example. So, I'm telling you, everyone, everyone, uh, today is Thursday, right? On Monday, on Monday, I had 10 meetings. 10 meetings. And on Tuesday, on Tuesday, I wrote, I wrote, 10 reports for my boss, 10 reports. And on Wednesday, I met 100 clients. And you're like, oh, I see, so you're busy. I see you're busy. 바쁘군요. So that's the nuance. Do you get it? So the nuance is like this. 짠. Here, oh, <laughs> do you see this uh, red point? It's me. So it's a sentence ending used to indicate that speaker speaker noticed. S speaker notices or is impressed by a nearly learned fact. So you heard, you heard from me that I uh, wrote lots of reports. I had lots of meetings. I met lots of clients. So uh, you learned new fact, which is I'm busy. So you are a bit impressed. You are a bit surprised. You notice something. You notice something. You notice the fact that I'm busy, right? So you are like, I see. Mm, so you are busy. Mm, I see. I see. Indeed, you are busy. Oh, okay, you are busy. Again, you just notice by listening, by hearing, by hearing or watching or by uh, reading. Reading. You learn that I'm busy. You noticed. So it has some nuance. I didn't know that before, but oh, now I see you are so busy. Did you get it? <laughs> but if you just say 바빠요 means you are busy, it's just a statement. It's a fact. You are busy. And from this sentence, I don't know if you knew this fact before or not. If Maybe you learned it before or maybe you just learned it now. I have no idea. It's just a statement. You are busy. 바빠요. 바쁩니다. You are busy. 바빠요. Or she's busy, he's busy, I don't know. But it doesn't have any nuance. But 바쁘군요 has some nuance. Nuance. It's like, oh, I just learned the fact that you are busy. I see. So you are busy. Oh. So you just notice that, you just notice the fact that I'm busy. Does it make sense? <laughs> so, so you will see more examples. Kwati, that's an amazing sentence that I'm waiting for. Yes, it's very similar to neyo ending. Neyo ending. I'll explain the differences uh, at the end of this lesson and let's focus on nun kunyo first. Very good, you know that. <laughs> uh, Valerie, is it used to add emphasis to what you heard uh, what you hear or does it just mean surprise? It tests both. The nuance is like, I just learned something. And maybe you are, by the way, it's not super big surprise, but you are a little bit surprised. Or, and you're a little bit impressed. You're like, oh, I see. So you're busy. Yeah, you just noticed. You just learned. You just learned and you are slightly impressed. Slightly, a bit impressed. Of course, if you put a lot of emotion like, oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> you can clearly see it's a big surprise, but 
normally, kunyo doesn't mean that it's a big surprise. It's like, oh, big, a bit, a small surprise. Okay. Pappu kunyo, ah, mineva, I see you're busy. Yes, exactly. So it, it has the nuance. I see. When you use I see in English, you know that someone just learned the fact, right? I just got it. Oh, I just learned. I see. I see. So you're busy. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, move on. And this is the formation. And Jack, uh, Jack can. Aja, Alvin, 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. <laughs> and this is how we conjugate it. First, you just need the stem, stem of adjective or stem of verb, plus 는군요 or 군요, 는군요 or 군요. So when do we use 군요 and when do we use 는군요? Let's see down here. We use 군요 if the verb or adjective, uh, if the adjective, verb is for here, <laughs> if the stem of uh, adjective is here, or ida or anida. So what does it mean? For example, I said, 바쁘군요, right? 바쁘다, 밥, oops. <laughs> 바쁘다 is the dictionary form of to be busy in Korean. 바쁘다, 밥. In English, it's an adjective, right? It's same in Korean. 바쁘다 means to be busy. It's an adjective. To be busy. It's an adjective. So, when I want to conjugate 바쁘다, 바쁘다 with 군요, 군요 or 능군요, well, it's an adjective. So, you always conjugate it with 군요. Oops. <laughs> As in, 바쁘군요. 바쁘다 plus 군요 is 밥, 바빠. <laughs> 바쁘군요. So, do you notice that? The original form is 바쁘, 다, 다, the, but remove 다, remove 다. Then you only have the stem which is 바쁘. And 바쁘 plus, 바쁘 plus 군요. 바쁘군요. It means, oh, I see you're busy. <laughs> uh, Ganesh, very good question. 어떻게 달라요? I'll explain that at the end of this lesson. At the end of this lesson. Or, I bought, I bought a new muffler. And I'm showing to you, hey, I bought a new muffler. What do you think? And you just saw, you just saw my muffler and you think it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. You just noticed. And you're a bit impressed by uh, the muffler that you saw. <laughs> so you can say, oh, I see. That's uh, pretty. What is pretty in Korean? It's yeah, bu, bu, da, which means to be pretty. So now I want to conjugate it with 예쁘다, 예쁘다, and 군요. Very good, Claudun and Sumi. 안녕하세요, Kailon and uh, Karin, right? <laughs> very, very good. So what is the stem? First, I need to get the stem, right? I need to get the stem here. What is the stem? Well, the dictionary form, the root form. When you search for the word in a dictionary, always Korean verb and adjective and with 다. You don't need ta anymore. Get just yeppu because yeppu is a stem. Yeppu. Now, since it's an adjective, just put kunyo. Just put kunyo. So when you combine them, it's yeppu kunyo. So I'm, I'm showing my muffler. Mm, I bought new muffler. What do you think? And you say yeppu kunyo. Oh, I see. You bought new one. It's pretty. Yeppu kunyo. Yeppu kunyo. Good. So yes, if it's an adjective, it's very simple. Just get the stem. Get the stem. What is a stem? The word without ta is the stem. Stem is a part without ta from the dictionary form. So stem plus 군요, that's it. Very good. Rita and Mineva, Tina. Kwati is the great 
uh, travel sumi cloud perfect. 예쁘 군요. By the way, should be 군요. 만샤 군요. <웃음> 리타 이스 군요 군요. <웃음> 어 자마 바쁘다 군요. Nope. It's not 바쁘다 군요. It should be 바쁘 군요. You do not need 다 다. You don't need that. <laughs> so it's 바쁘군요. 바쁘군요. By the way, do you see you at the end in gray color? It's because you is a polite particle. Polite ending particle. So by putting you, the sentence become polite. So if you want to speak casually, then you can just remove you at the end. As in 바쁘군. 바쁘군. Mm. So I'm telling my friends that oh I have lots of meetings, reports, client. Then you can say 바쁘군, 바쁘군. Or I bought the one floor. And you say 음, 예쁘군, 예쁘군, 예쁘군. I'll introduce another casual form which is even more common. But for now, let's focus on the conjugation. Okay, then how about this 이다 and 아니다? Do you know 이다, 이다? Practice very good. <laughs> I'll talk about kuna very soon. And ida, ida. Oh, kwati. By the way, it's not kyobun kunyo. Kyobta means to be pretty, to to be cute. By the way. <laughs> and what is the stem here? Stem is kyob only. Where is un? There is no un. So it's kyob because it's an adjective. Plus kunyo. Right? 귀엽군요. So, oh, it's pretty. I see. It's very pretty. 귀엽군요. 귀엽군요. <laughs> so, 귀엽군요 is, is pretty. And now let's talk about 이다. Stoa to 안녕하세요. Thank you. <laughs> so, 짠, 이다. Do you know 이다? 이다 is kind of like to to be in English, to be. So for example, um, <laughs> Ah, do you know Kyul? Kyul is a mandarin orange. It's a mandarin orange. And Kyul, Kyul is, uh, is smaller than orange. Orange is usually like this. <laughs> it's used, right? But Kyul is smaller and usually sweeter and is softer. So Korean people love kyul so much, especially during the winter time. So we eat a lot of kyul at home. And kyul, most of kyul are from Jeju Island. Jeju-do, Jeju Island. Jeju Island is the biggest uh, island in South Korea, located in southern part, southern South Korea. And there we produce a lot of kyul and the taste is so good. <laughs> anyway, so kyul, kyulida, kyul, kyul, mandarin orange, ida, to be. So kyulida means like to be uh, um, mandarin orange, to be a mandarin orange, kyulida, kyulida. So if I say, have you ever heard 입니다 or 이에요? 예요? 이다 is the dictionary form. So it means exactly the same as 입니다 and 이다. 이다. So, um, now let's conjugate with 군요. 규, 군요. Practice shop. Perfect. <laughs> 맞아요. <laughs> 잘했어요. Is? 귤, 귤이다, right? 귤이다. But we need to get the stem, as I mentioned, stem. What is a stem? The part without 다 at the end. So 귤이, 귤이, 귤이. 귤 is a noun. And 이, 이, 이 is a stem. And then now just put 군요, 귤이 군요. Then it means like, uh, it's some... Why is it on? <laughs> it's a mandarin orange. It's a mandarin orange. So 
So, for example, uh, you said, 침침 said, 침침 said, I want to eat a fruit. I want to eat some fruit. So I said, okay, I bring some fruit for you. So I brought some fruit. Done! Chim Chim, here you are. And Chim Chim said, oh, it's some, it's some mandarin orange. Because he just saw it and he noticed it's a mandarin orange. So, 귤이군요. 귤이군요. <laughs> so, if he just said 귤이에요, 귤이에요 means it sounds like, it's just a statement. You already know what it is. But when he used this 군요, it sounds like you didn't know that before. And now you know it. You just learned a new fact. Which is, it's a mandarin orange. <laughs> so, 귤이군요. 귤이군요. Oh, I see. It's a mandarin orange. Thank you for preparing for me. 귤이군요. Then, do you know this one? 아니다. 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 It means, um, to not be. To not be. So, this is the opposite word of 이다. 이다. Do you remember? 이다, to be. So the opposite word of 이다 is 아니다. 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 Meaning to not be. It's so not be, not be. So, 짠. 귤이 아니다. 귤이 아니다 means to not be a ma mandarin orange. To not be a mandarin orange. Yes, it's not. It's not to not be. 귤이 아니다. So now I want to conjugate it with 군요. 군요. How does it work? Well, 아니다, 아니다. What's the stem here? I need to get the stem. Stem is simple. Just remove 다 at the end. So 귤이 아니군요. 귤이 아니군요. Means, oh, it's not a mandarin orange. So you just noticed. Because... Chim Chim's favorite fruit is mandarin orange. Chim Chim's favorite uh, fruit is gyul. So Chim Chim is expecting, oh, maybe Kajin will prepare gyul for me. Oh, I'm so excited. And he's waiting. And I prepared sakwa, an apple, instead of gyul. So he's like, oh, okay. So it's not a mandarin orange. I just noticed it's not mandarin orange. I, mm, I'm slightly surprised. I just learned a new fact that this is not a mandarin orange. <laughs> so, ah, 귤이 아니군요. 귤이 아니군요. So it can be used for both good surprise and bad surprise. Oh, the fact is, the, the important, important part is you just learn the new thing new, le, and then you are a bit impressed and surprised. So any new information is okay. 귤이 아니군요. Mm. So yes, if it's an adjective, or 이다 and 아니다, please use 군요. Always 군요, 군요. Use stem of adjective or 이다 or 아니다 plus 군요. Okay? <laughs> now you know when to use a verb, right? Verb stem plus 는 군요. For example, we went to the restaurant. We went to the restaurant and I want to use this verb, eat. And... I'm ordering food. 저기요, 어, 밥두 공기 주세요. 밥두 공기 means two bowls of rice. 밥두 공기 주세요. And I also said, 음, 불고기 5인분 주세요. <laughs> 불고기 5인분 주세요. So it means, uh, please give me five servings of 불고기. And I also said, 음, 비빔밥 3인분 주세요. <laughs> Please give me three servings of 비빔밥. 비빔밥 3인분 주세요. And I say 삼겹살도 주세요. Please give me pork belly barbecue. And you're like, you eat a lot. <laughs> I see. So you eat a lot. <laughs> So you just learn the fact that I eat a lot, right? So you are surprised. So you say, 먹다 plus 는군요. Since it's a verb, 먹다 to eat, yum 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 yum, it's a verb. So please use 는군요. 
when you conjugate this again, you just need the stamps, which means you need to remove 다. So 먹는군요. 먹는군요. So let's put money here. Money. Money means a lot. I see you eat a lot. <laughs> I see so you eat a lot. <laughs> 많이 먹는군요. 많이 먹는군요. Uh, Valeria, that's a good question. Can this phrase be used as a question? Yes, yes. So, for example, if you need some agreement from other people, other people, you want other people to agree with you, then you, you can put a question like this. 많이 먹는군요? So, actually, the meaning is the same. It just means I'm surprised. That the, I see. I'm a, a little bit surprised that you eat a lot. So, 많이 먹는군요? So, if you use this question, then other people will answer, Yes. She eats a lot, or yes, or no, she doesn't eat a lot. So if you want someone's answer, someone's answer, you can put the rising intonation at the end as in 많이 먹는군요? But if you just want to finish, finish as a just statement or exclamation, 많이 먹는군요? I see you eat a lot. Then you use 짠, 짠, full stop at the end. Good question. Thank you. Kailon, same as nail? Yes, it's partly same as nail, but there are differences. I'll answer you at the end of this uh, lesson. <laughs> Cloud, yes, you really a lot. <laughs> Very good. Sumi mokbang, yes. <laughs> yes. Good, good, good. <laughs> or, Another example can be 만나다. 만나다 meaning to meet. To meet. So I'm telling you, uh, last week I met 100 people and yesterday I met 1,000 people. And you're like, I see you meet a lot of people. <laughs> I see. I just learned that. I just, I just learned the fact that you meet a lot of people, right? So how can I uh, conjugate it? You just need to get the stem of the verb, right? The, uh, the verb is 만나다. And what is a stem? Stem is 만나. 만나. Why? Just remove 다. 만나 is a stem. Plus now, it's a verb. So you need to conjugate it with 는군요. 는군요. As in, 만나는군요. 만나는군요. You meet a lot. Or if you want to put the object, you can say 사람들을 많이 만나는군요. 사람들 means people. 을 is object marking particle. 많이 means a lot. So you meet a lot of people. 사람들을 많이 만나는군요. Oh, wow, you meet 1,000 people a day? 사람들을 많이 만나는군요. I see. I see. <laughs> 사람들을 많이 만나는군요. And again, it has you in the gray color, which means this is an optional. If you speak casually with your friends or family members, you don't need to put you at the end. You only say 사람들을 많이 만나는군 or 너무 많이 먹는군. Mm, it's okay. Are you okay with the conjugation? All good? Okay, so here's some things to remember. John note for the verb if the stem ends in consonant dear we take out the consonant dear and conjugate 는군요 hmm? what does it mean <laughs> so for example let me use this uh, verb 만들다 만들다 means to make to make oops to to make and what is the stem here? 만들다, 만들다. It's the dictionary form, the original form, right? The root form. So 만들다, what's the stem? Stem is 만들, 만들. And do you see here? The stem ends with consonant 들. 만들, 들. By the way, this 들 at the end. 들, 을, 을. It consists of these three parts, right? So it ended with consonant 리을, 리을, 
liu is here. So the stem ends with the consonant liu. So we need to take out the liu. So mandu become mandu. Mandu plus nungunyo. Nungunyo. So it become mandu nungunyo. Mandu nungunyo. Mandu nungunyo, by the way. Uh, Minerva 32, it should be mandu nun. It's not nun, it's nun, 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 kunyo. Uh, Eva, nice try. Cake를 많이 만드는 군요. It's not 만드는 군요. So theoretically, you are supposed to conjugate 는 군요 with this, this, this uh, stem, which is 만들. But this is an exception. Exception. If the verb end with, the verb stem end with 리을, 리을, then take out the 리을 and just put 는 군요. As in 만드는 군요. Nickel unit. Lian as in man, it's not ma, man, mandunun gunyo. Minerva, very good, mandunun gunyo, yay! <laughs> Mansha, very good, and Shiva and. Oh, Gailon, good example too. <laughs> oh, Kwati, is there a past form of them? Mani, mannanun gunyo? Yes, you can actually conjugate it with uh, past tense too if you want. Uh, I'm not focusing on it on today's lesson, but if you want to uh, say it, man, you can say 만났군요, 만났군요. Because you remember in the, pa uh, in the past tense, it's 만났다, 만나다. Where is it? 만나다 become 만났다, right? 만났다. And you can conjugate it as 만났군요, 만났군요. But I'm not going to focus on that in today's lesson because it might be too much information. But you can just remember that yes, it's possible to conjugate it with a past tense as in 만났군요, 만났군요. Okay, so uh, variety, is it only for verb or adjective too? 짠 is for this one, right? This is for verb only. Verb, verb, verb. And let's look at the second, second, second one. For the verb, 이다, 이다, which means kind of like to be, to be. If the noun before 이다 ends in a vowel, we often use the form 군요. Noun plus 군요 without 이. What does it mean? Let me show you the example. <laughs> Let me show you the example. For example, <laughs> let's talk about fruits again. <laughs> uh, do you like mango? Mango. Mango. In Korean, that's mango. Mango. What is to be a mango? To be a mango. To be in Korean is 이다, right? So it's 망고이다. 망고이다. So if you want to conjugate it with 군요, remove 다 at the end and just say 망고이군요. It's okay. Oh, it's a mango. Oh, it's a mango. Hmm, it's a mango. But, but, mango, this noun, noun before ida, ended with a vowel sound. Mango, o, o, o. It ended with a vowel sound. So actually, you can remove e. Mango gunyo is okay. Mango gunyo. Oh, you prepared a mango for me. Mango gunyo. Mango gunyo is okay. <laughs> Mango군요. So another example. Let's use other fruits, which is 딸기, strawberry, strawberry, 딸기, 딸기, 딸기. Now 딸기. This is a noun, noun, and I'm supposed to use verb 이다, right? 딸기 이다 to be a strawberry or to be strawberries. 딸기 이다. But actually, since the noun before 이다 ends in a vowel, as in 딸기, 기, 이, 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 it ended with vowel sound. You can just put 군요 only without, without 이. 딸기 군요, oh, it's a strawberry. Oh, these are strawberries. So just noun plus 군요 is okay. If you use the verb 이다, 이다, 이다 only. This is a 이다 only exception. If you use other verb, this rule doesn't apply, but only if it's 이다, 이다. Ida verb, and when this, this uh, noun ends with the vowel, 
then you use noun plus 군요. noun plus 군요. 짠, noun plus 군요. All good? <웃음> 딸기 이군요 is okay. or 딸기 군요 is okay. So both of them are okay. 딸기 이군요, 딸기 군요. Both of them are grammatically correct. But in, in Korea, we use this one more often. Simply because it's simple. <웃음> it's shorter, so it's easier. 딸기 군요. 딸기 군요. Okay? <웃음> Number three. You can use 는 구나 instead of the intimate form 는 군. So as I mentioned, in the casual form, you can say this. 딸기 군. 딸기 군. <웃음> 망고 군. But actually, in daily life, <웃음> we use instead of 군, we use 구나 more often. 아, 망구구나, 딸기구나, 구나. So in the casual form of 군요 is 군 or 구나. So 는 군요 is the polite form. The casual form is 는 구나 or 는 군. Both of them are okay, but definitely this one is more common. More common. Good? <laughs> oh, so it's an elephant. Ele then you can say, Kello is a kokiri kuna. A kokiri kuna. Oh, it's an elephant. I just noticed it's a elephant because you went to Africa. <laughs> Went to Africa. You are in safari, and you heard some sound. Something is coming to you. So you are like, oh, maybe it's a lion, ah! And you saw it, and you said, oh, that was just a elephant. Elephant. Oh, it was an elephant. I see, it was an elephant, not lion. Ah, 코끼리구나. Ah, 진짜 깜짝 놀랐다. I was so surprised. 코끼리구나. 코끼리구나. I see. I just noticed. Oh, I just learned this. 코끼리. Elephant. Okay. A uh, practice. You are right. 딸기 군요 is okay. 딸기 군요 is okay. Or 딸기 구나 is okay. 딸기 구나 is also okay. 딸기 구나 is okay. So, how about this? 먹는 군요. How can I change it to the casual form? Instead of 군요, you just replace 구나. That's it. 먹는구나. 많이 먹는구나. Ooh, you eat a lot. Mm. So just replace 군요 with 구나 if you want to say casually. Casually. Casually with your uh, friends or um, some people who are much younger than you or your family members. <laughs> Ocean, is 구나 more common? Yes, it's more common. It's more common. 구나, 구나. <laughs> okay, so let's practice. Practice. So, can you conjugate 키가 크다 with 는 군요 now? Please conjugate 는 군요 with 키가 크다. Please conjugate it. Please conjugate it. So, in the meanwhile, let me break down the words in case you don't know this word. 키 means height. 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 <laughs> 키. It's the height for human people people <laughs> for example if the building is tall then we do not use uh, key 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 is for humans persons people's height kiga kuda ka is a particle so it's a height height <laughs> ka ka particle kuda means big so it literally means Height this big. <laughs> In English, it's just to be tall. 키가 크다. Ooh. Our smart students, we got the answer again. Done. So, yes. Very good. 키가 크다. 키가 크다. This is an adjective, right? So, it's not 키가 크는군요. It's 키가 크군요. Put 군요 only. Put 군요 only. So, for example, I'm telling you, you know what? I have, I have Chim Chim, which is my younger brother. And he 
he is a two meter long. <laughs> his height, his height, his height, his height is two meter. And you are like, he's tall. 키가 크군요. I see. I just learned the fact that your brother, Chim Chim, is very tall. 키가 크군요. Good. Next. Oh, we are getting the answer again. This 많이 먹다. We already practiced this, right? 많이 먹다. 많이 먹다. 많이 means a lot. 먹다 to eat. Yum, yum. <laughs> Let's conjugate it together. 많이 먹다. 먹다, 먹다 is a verb. 먹다, a verb. Then what happens? You do not conjugate it with 군요, but you use 는군요. 많이 먹는군요. So, for example, well, I already gave you example <laughs> of this sentence, but let me give you another one. I told you that I have younger brother, Chim Chim, and he eats 10 pizza a day. And you're like, I see. So your younger brother, Chim Chim, eats a lot. You just notice something. You just notice the fact. You just by hearing, by hearing from me. 많이 먹는군요. 많이 먹는군요. Very good. We already started getting the answer for this. Awesome. Awesome. That makes my lesson more smooth. <laughs> so, okay. So let's practice this. By the way, notebook. Notebook. And a lot of people think, ah, notebook. So it's a notebook. Notebook, right? But I'm sorry. It's not notebook. It's a laptop. It's a Konglish. Korean English. Notebook is a device. Device. It's a laptop. Notebook. So, 짠. 노트북이다. 노트북이다. Since it's 이다, 이다, you use 군요, right? Adjective 이다 and 아니다, use 군요, not 는군요, right? 노트북이군요. 노트북이군요. So, I prepared the gift. Ta-da-da! Happy birthday! 생일 축하합니다! Here's a gift for you. 선물이에요. And you open. <gasps> what is it? <gasps> Notebook이군요. <laughs> Notebook이군요. Oh, I see. It's a laptop. It's a laptop. Notebook이군요. And now we are getting answer for this too. Very good. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> 냉장고이다. 냉장고 means fridge. 냉장고. 이다 means to be, right? So, 냉장고이다. 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 Now I want to conjugate it with 군요. 냉장고이 군요. 냉장고이군요. Because you moved to a new house and I'm your parents. I'm your parents. So I'll give you a big gift. Here you are. Here you are. My daughter and son. Here you are. And something arrived. <gasps> 냉장고이군요. Oh, so it's a 냉장고. Fridge. 냉장고이군요. Oh, my smart students. Yes, 냉장고이군요 or 냉장고군요 because 냉장고 is a noun ending with the vowel. So you can just use 군요 only. 냉장고이군요, 냉장고이군요 or 냉장고군요, 냉장고군요. Both of them are correct. Very good. Very good. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we have this. Awesome. Thank you for the answers, everyone. 춥다 meaning to be cold. To be cold. And this one is used for the weather only, the temperature, temperature of the air. You do not use this chupta for uh, your cold beer, cold ice cream. You do not use it. This is how you feel. So when you feel cold, you use chupta, chupta. You do not use chupta for the things like ice cream or orange juice, ice. You do not use chupta. It's chakapta. We use another word. Anyway, chupta, let's conjugate it. Chupta. Now, oh, please be careful. Chupta is to be cold. It's an adjective. So we do not use 는군요, but we use 군요 only. Because chupta, again, chupta is an adjective. If it's an adjective, then we use 군요. If it's a verb, then we use 는군요. Chupta is an adjective. 춥군요. So for example, you went out. You went out. 짠, you opened the door and you went out. Oh. You just noticed the weather is cold. It's cold today. So you say, oh, 춥군요. 
춥군요. <웃음> Quality, that's very good. If you want to say casually instead of 군요, you can replace with 구나. As I mentioned, 구나. It's also 이렇게 춥구나. 오늘 되게 춥구나. Or maybe you heard from your Korean friends. Now Korea is super duper cold. I'm not joking. <웃음> It's like Uh, 17 degrees below zero. So it's like minus 17 or minus 20. So I said, oh, everyone, it's now uh, 17 or 20 uh, below zero. It's minus 20. And you say, oh, 한국은 춥구나. Oh, I see. I just learned the fact that Korea is very cold now. 춥구나, 춥구나. It's a casual way to say it. How about this? 자주 울다. 자주 울다 자주 means often often and 울다 means cry <laughs> cry 자주 울다 means to cry often so 침침 is my baby now 침침 is my baby 침침 cries every hour 침침 cries often so now let's conjugate it 자주 울다 Let's conjugate with 는군요 because 울다 is cry, right? So should I conjugate like this? 자주 울는군요? Nope. Do you remember the dear exception? There's an exception for the words, the, the verb, which has a stem ending in dear. So If the stem ends in consonant dear, such as 자주 울, 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 it ends with dear, right? In that case, without dear, change 울 to 우 and put 는군요 as in 자주 우는군요. 자주 우는군요. Oh, so 침침 cries often. 자주 우는군요. Oh, so I'm telling you, oh, my baby, 침침 cries every hour. I can't sleep. Then you can say, 침침이가? 자주 우는군요. Oh, I see. So, 침침 cries often. 자주 우는군요. Okay? <laughs> so, do you have any questions so far? I think all good, hopefully. And thank you so much for asking a good question about 는군요 versus 내요. It's a great question. It's seriously. Oh, <laughs> very very good question basically 능군요 can be used for something you learned by hearing or by seeing by looking or by reading anything is okay but 내요 can be used for the fact that you experienced you experienced you experienced and learned for example I just told you about my baby chimchim, right? My baby chimchim. I said, he cries every hour. And you didn't experience that, right? You didn't experience that. So you cannot use neo here because you don't know. You just only heard. You never experienced. You just heard. That's it. You, you did not experience. So you do not use neo here. But you can use nungunyo because anyway, you learned something. Does it make sense? For example, I told I I'm telling you about my younger brother. Chim 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 is everything. <laughs> so chim chim is now my younger brother, and I'm telling you, chim chim is two meter, two meter, and you never saw chim chim, right? You only heard, so you cannot use. Kika, 크네요. You cannot say, oh, 키가 크네요. Or, you cannot use for the information that you did not experience. You did not experience. But, you can still use 능군요 because you hurt. You hurt. Does it make sense? But, for example, mm, you met 침침. You met 침침. And 침침 is actually 2 meter. <gasps> so tall! So, you can say, 침침이는 키가 크군요. This is correct because you just learned new information. 
It doesn't matter if you saw it, if you heard it, if you read it. It doesn't matter. Anyway, you learn something, so you can use 능군요. But you also met 침침 in person. In person, you saw it, you experienced. So you can say, oh, two meter. 침침이는 키가 크네요. It's okay. You experienced. You experienced. Okay, clear, good. Francois, 안녕하세요, Francois. <laughs> Guy long. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is a big difference between 능군요 and 내요, 내요. And honestly, 내요 is used more often in real life. Real life. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And of course, I have 숙제 for you. 숙제, what is 숙제? Homework for you today is of course, conjugation. <laughs> Here are three expressions. First, 엄청 덥다. 엄청, 엄청 means very. Hot means 덥다. 엄청 덥다. Please conjugate it with 능군요. Next, 새 차이다. 새, new. 차, car, 이다, to be. So to be a, to be a new car is 새 차이다. Please conjugate it with 능군요. And 매일, 매일 means every day. 운동하다 meaning to exercise. So 매일 운동하다 means to exercise every day. To exercise every day. 매일 운동하다. So please, please, please conjugate with 능군요 and leave a comment on YouTube and Facebook of Korean Class 101 channel. <laughs> I'll check them out. And if you personally want me to check your homework, this is my Instagram. <laughs> By the way, all, I noticed a lot of people take screen capture when they do homework, so I'll make things easy. Here you are, you can screen capture now. Done. Good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> ah, ah, mm. <laughs> so this is my Instagram, so if you tag my Instagram ID on your Instagram story or post, I can check your post and give you the correction. Okay, so please do your homework, practice more, and we always upload this video to YouTube and Facebook right after this video, so you can review it again if you want to review and practice more. So, 감사합니다. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the link in the description to get free Korean workbooks to practice more Korean writings. <laughs> Next week, I'll be back again for sure. <laughs> Next week's topic is this, Korean future tense, Korean future tense. So, so 을 거예요, 을 거예요, will to be going to. Like today, we'll practice a lot and I'll explain all the details. It will be very useful and easy to learn with me and Chim Chim. <laughs> so please join it. It will be 1 p.m. in Korean time. Yay! <laughs> 감사합니다, 감사합니다. Thank you so much. So let's talk again next week. Let's study Korean again next week. 감사합니다. Uh, Barati and Praticia, Cody, Ocean, uh, Emily, Tina, uh, Ganesh, Minerva, <laughs> Travel, Learn Korean, Jama, Valeria, Rita, Sara, <laughs> Cookie Dough, Chip. That's such a long nickname. <laughs> 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 Nikhil, thank you so much. Kailon and Francois, and of course on Facebook to Shiva and uh, Karina. Okay, Kalo, awesome. Thank you very much, and let's.